Hey there guys, what is going on? Gail Wright here. Welcome to the 59 Mobile channel and I am here to give you guys my top 5 super attack animations in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Now, I have been playing this game for nearly 6 years now. Yeah, it'll be 6 years I think by December I think. I think I should be at 6 years at December. And considering all things said and done, we've gone from generic Kamehameha all the way to you know some amazing animations like for example super vegeta's final flash the seven year lrs for example i mean the five year lrs still really hold up well to this day even though it's been nearly three years now actually once we hit january it'll be three years for them so we've gone from some really 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 mediocre animations to some amazing animations so in all honesty i have to to narrow it down to five super attacks it's really really hard to be quite honest there are some amazing ones out there and in all honesty i just chuck some honorable mentions here and there i would probably say some honorable mentions that i want to give is like for example i really like super vegeta's special uh, uh, special arts super attack i'm going to a completely different game with special arts but Vegeta's super attack is really well done. I really like Final Form Cooler's special, uh, super attack. I was about to say special arts again. Super attack as well. So I would say those two for me personally is really well done. But I want to know, what do you guys like the most? I'm curious about your top 5 super attack animations. In all honesty, I'm very, very excited to see what you guys leave in the comments section down below. I'll be reading through them, alright? And I'll be replying as well. So, put your comments down below for what super attacks you would rate the highest for sure. And of course, leave a like on the channel. Subscribe to the 5.9 mobile channel for more Dokkan Legends mobile content. You name it, we will give it to you guys on this channel. Now... Hey guys, Goresh here. Just wanted to give you all a quick update that we are planning on dropping some new merch very soon. Now it's been a very long time since we've done anything merch related. So for those of you who are interested in potentially grabbing some 5.9 merch, we will be doing um, you know some announcements soon. I expect when this video drops, um, probably fo uh, following within the next few days, we will have uh, the exact date and time announced somewhere. Uh, for when the merch will be dropping but keep your eyes peeled if you're interested on top of that uh, talon and i are planning on doing a live stream uh, i think the date has yet to be decided we haven't really fully fleshed out the details for that yet but the um the, the premise behind the stream is going to be for me and him to both discuss uh, basically us living in japan answer questions stuff like that so um, we will let you guys know ahead of time when that's going to be coming out as well when we're planning on doing that along with the merch drop so Again, keep your eyes peeled. We'll come back soon with an update. Hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you all in the next one. Let's talk about my fifth spot, I would say. Let's start from bottom to top, shall we? Let's go from bottom to top. So at number five, it's an old one, but I feel like it's a little bit iconic and a little bit personal to me. So it's the reason why I'm putting it at number five. It's probably LR Tech Broly in all honesty. I know a lot of people are like, nostalgic, how, how sway? How is that nostalgic? <laughs> For me, I would say the reason why I would put Tech LR Broly at number 5 is purely down to the fact that I remember that movie so well, like it's always been there for me, like I've continuously watched all 3 Broly movies, I include Bayer Broly in that because I had the trilogy with me so I would always watch all 3, even though back, at, back then as a kid I still didn't really tremendously like bio broly i still watched it because it was part of the trilogy it had broly broly was my favorite villain uh, alongside baby vegeta so for me i would always watch those movies and broly's omega blaster is still to this day one of my favorite moves of all time in dragon ball z and obviously being animated in dokkan obviously uh, we we do need a modernized version of it in my personal opinion but i still believe the tech lr broly's animation is still very nice of him just you know just dumping the enemy into the ground the the camera panning outwards zooming out in order to show him launching the omega blaster the only thing i wish is it if it showed the full omega blaster like becoming bigger and bigger and going towards the enemy i think that's the only thing it really needs and a little bit of a more modern touch in terms of maybe the uh, initial animations and stuff it would be amazing but even then i still love the animation to this day so for me I would put Tech LR Broly at number 5 in all honesty. Tech LR Broly is an easy number 5. At number 4, well, number 4 and 3 was a little bit of a toss-up, personally, in my personal opinion. I think it was a little bit of a toss-up. But then I regained my senses and I def uh, definitely put 
the number three at number three and then put number four at number four and number four is in namigoku's 18 key in namigoku's 18 key phenomenal in my personal opinion they did a fantastic job with it of course uh, the spinning around could have been done a little bit better but i feel like generally him launching the enemy upwards and then from when he launches the kamehameha to the end ko screen it's just chef's kiss chef's kiss for sure um i love the uh the camera pan back to goku when he's still doing the kamehameha and then of course the beam itself is well done and then just generally the KO screen, him just looking upwards and just just the wind going across his hair. Oh, so, so good. I really, really, really like it. And in all honesty, if it wasn't for the top three, this would have been way higher easily. This would have been number two or number one at the very minimum. Uh, aside from maybe one or two options, just maybe sliding in randomly like Tekel or Broly, for example. But I think this in Namigoku 18k is beautiful, to be honest. It's so, so, so so beautiful so for me definitely number four now let's move on to lr kaioken goku at number three and yes this is my number three the only reason i was kind of deliberating between lr Nam uh, lr namek goku and lr kaioken goku was in all honesty just primarily because of the end ko screen looking so cool for super saiyan goku in all honesty that being said that doesn't mean Kaioken Goku doesn't have a great KO screen either. It's just that I found, I personally like Super Saiyan Goku's a little bit better. But let's drag back a little bit and say why LR Kaioken Goku is at number 3. It's just the iconic moment, bro. It is one of the most iconic beam clashes in all of Dragon Ball. I'd say it's probably easily the second most iconic one. First being, of course, Gohan versus Cell. But for me, I think... Um, the fact that they put that animation, I genuinely thought they were going to leave that as the active skill, but that was the 18 key super attack. So for me, I absolutely love it because we can see it more often. It's always happening. It may devalue it a little bit because you see it more often, but I don't. that doesn't change the fact that it's still one of the most prettiest, you know, animations in the game in all honesty of course the rocks rising the aura and for me the kaioken aura is what makes a lot of animations to be honest i love the kaioken aura in comparison to the super saiyan aura and stuff in all honesty i think the kaioken aura the reddish uh, pink the pinkish red aura is beautiful to look at especially when he's using the kamehameha so for me i think it's at an easy number three just because of that and it's again like i said it's a great recreation of the original moment in in the anime honestly it's such a great recreation i think that if they knocked it out of the park they absolutely knocked it out of the park for sure at number two this one is a little bit weird because in all honesty people talk about this character is active skill way more but i like his 18 key as well and that is str gogeta a lot of people obviously talk about this guy's active skill, which is beautiful in its own right. Probably one of the best active skills even to this day. Like I said earlier on at the start of this video, the five-year LRs are still beautiful to look at when it comes to their animation in all honesty. it's still They're still one of the best units in terms of animations in all honesty. SGR Gogeta, even though the character himself is outdated, even though his active skill is mentioned more, his 18 key is fantastic. I mean, it's again, it's just like Kaioken Goku, but even more so in SGR Gogeta's case, it's a recreation of the an uh, of the movie, I should say, not even anime. It's a recreation of the movie, and obviously, it being movie quality, it's of course gonna look beautiful. So for me, I think an easy number two is SGR Gogeta. I don't even have to explain much more than that. It's a good recreation of the movie. The animation in the movie itself was brilliant outside of some CG. But yeah, I mean, I don't have to add any more than that. It still holds up to this day. So for me, Esther Gogeta is at an easy number two, in all honesty. Now we move on to number one. And number one is SSJ4 Gogeta's 18 key. The LR SSJ4 Gogeta, we just got them in the seventh year anniversary. I say just got them, it's about a year old now. <laughs> it's insane to think, time goes by so quickly, you know. But SSJ4 Gogeta's 18 key is amazing. Obviously, I'm a big SSJ4 fanboy, that's no question for sure. I mean, if you've watched any of the videos we've done in the past, podcasts, or even on the, our Twitch channel, like whenever I play Dokkan or any other Dragon Ball game, I've always talked about how SSJ4 is like probably the best transformation out there. 
but what they did with ssj for gogeta in the game itself is uh, i love it man i absolutely love it the way they handled the 18 key obviously taking inspiration from fighters who did a fantastic job in their own right with the animations of course and of course we also have the actor skill for ssj for gogeta another uh, actually it's very funny to think both the gogeta's active skills are more talked about than the 18 key and of course for good reason right but i do believe their 18 key and 12 keys are both beautiful as well you know in all honesty there's no question about it so for me i would probably put ssj4 gogeta's 18 key the highest out of the lot personally just because it's beautiful it's ssj4 it's gogeta it's a win 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 is all i'm saying man it's a win 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 so there you guys have it there are my top five SA animations in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. I was struggling to speak there, but those are my top five SA animations in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your top five SA animations. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Like I said, I'll be replying to your uh, guys' comments as well. So let me know. I'm curious to see what y'all say. It's been Gil Riot signing out. Bye bye, everybody.